Hello guys, it's Luffy Murdoch here. I'm back today with a chapter review of 132 of The Promised Neverland. Wow, I've got 60 views in my last review. Um, the first review on the manga chapter, so that was very good. But yeah, let's um, quit chatting and start reviewing. <laughs> so we start off the chapter with the Queen basically talking about Oh, and the, and the gang about um, all the sorts of uh, meat coming from all the other uh, farms due to all everyone, loads of them escaping and um, I believe Norman and that sort of thing, um, breaking into orphanages and um, breaking kids free and yeah, recruiting them and obviously when they mean me, they mean the kids so they've, um, so they've been in quite a bit of a crisis and they're even thinking about getting the military, oh, demon military involved. The interesting thing is, um, referring to them as robbers, so it might not be just um, Norman and that, it might be other demons going after them, that sort of thing. Because, I don't know, it wouldn't just say robbers, like, I don't know, liberators, I guess, um, like um, Norman is, and his gang. But um, like um, people, could, or, uh, other demons could be stealing the meat from, um, or stealing the children for um, food sources. So that's that as well. So these robbers, I believe, are the guys that Norman um, partnered with. And so yeah, then um, KVC says we'll be sending the army to execute the squads of the betrayers. So I think I'm wrong. I might, it might be, no, it won't be Norman and that. It'll be um, all the demons and that um, betraying all the royalty and that sort of thing. And the ones that are like in hiding. Like, well, like I said, the ones who are partnering in with uh, Norman to take everyone out. And it shows m like a massive heap of demons. So that's going to be like, I don't know. Considering there's loads of um, kids to be well, demons get their forms from the children or adults they eat. They um, form like, there must be like thousands and thousands of children. Obviously there's the low stock and stuff like, um, the mental, like brain dead, unfortunately brain dead kids that um, get, um, you know, valued up and that sort of thing. So yeah, and also and the brain is also the reason why no worry, I'll go as a different video for another time. So Norman and his group have a um like a guy who's looking over the army and that sort of thing and they have an owl to send messages to Norman and back and to Norman and to the guy and back and that sort of thing. And this is going all according to Norman's plan. So it's him against the Queen and the five families and against Emma, sort of kind of but yeah. Oh man. Looks like I've picked a bad time to review this this thing because it looks like I don't know. It could be over in like fifty I don't know, about maximum sixty chapters. And they're planning to like get all the five families against each other and that's what she's that's what she's saying basically like to get everyone or to go fire everyone else, like the robbers and that sort of thing, they've robbed us to rob stock. So he's he's planning to like get them all together and get them all to take them out one by one by each other, so playing politics really, um, or like being a gangster as well, Norman is, sort of thing, but like with demons and that. Like it does have um, a lot of um, gangster vibes coming from their uh, group, and uh, while uh, Norman's displaying this, he'll um, be going for a very day, uh, if he's playing chess, so he's like obviously symbolism, like in Death Note and that sort of thing, so yeah. And the attack will, and they will strike them in eight days. So, and so they'll be the plan to attack the queen and the nobles, and uh, the girl. I do apologise. I'm really bad with names, but the girl who eats the uh, demon meat says, "In only eight days, we'll be able to change the world." The game is on. <sighs> so basically, the three um, are some chapter of pages, and basically someone's called in Dong. Gilda to go to the boss, which I'm assuming that's Norman. Um, <laughs> and um, Emma and Ray enter the other side of the door. And the first thing they see is Gracefield House. So they're back at Gracefield House for some reason. So yeah, this is, uh, this is very interesting to be back here. 
I'm very interested to see like what's going on. Like Emma Ray don't no Ray doesn't look fourteen in this. I think he's supposed to be fourteen or thirteen or whatever. But like he looks like like seventeen or eighteen maybe. Like it's like all of a sudden they they've aged like dramatically, which is very weird. So yeah. So yeah, not long till uh, we get like a massive like war in the manga, and that's for something to look forward to. Uh, I don't know. I'm looking back at. I don't think it'll be sixty chapters. I do hope this goes on for like, I don't know, another two years probably, maybe, hopefully, maybe. Um, but it is good to freeze the story where it is, or maybe they change their mind. I just need to come up with a good idea. I'm not think of. I don't know. I'm not going. To, promoted but this is the final arc they did say but yeah we'll see what happens from there and hopefully they um hopefully the uh, two guys work together in the future as well um i want to see more stories like this especially in shonen jump like this is like the story is like so good man um is there, i think it's my favorite at the minute um i do like dr stone as well but i want to catch up to uh my hero academia and then I'm going to start doing chapters on that. And I want to do chapters on Dr. Stone. But I want to try and get into the riffraff of things. Of doing um, Promised Neverland. But yeah I think I've done a good job today. I've been a pretty good job today. Um, definitely improvement from last week. But anyway guys. That's the today's video. If you did like and if you did like the video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. All that good stuff. It's been your boy. Good luck from my See you next time. Peace. Love you all.